In the annals of unusual yet true stories, few can rival the tale of Jack the Baboon, a remarkable figure in the history of South African railways. This Chakma Baboon didn't just live alongside humans. He worked as a railway signalman in the late 19th century. His story is not only a testament to the extraordinary intelligence of animals, but also a heartwarming narrative of human-animal partnership. Set against the backdrop of South Africa's railway expansion, Jack's life as a signalman presents a fascinating glimpse into a time when necessity led to one of the most unusual and successful collaborations between a man and a wild animal. The tragic accident of James Wide, James Jumper, Wide earned his nickname for his daring habit of leaping between moving rail cars. However, this practice led to a tragic accident in 1877, which dramatically altered his life. While working for the Cape Town, Port Elizabeth Railway Service, Wide misjudged a jump, resulting in a catastrophic fall under a moving train. This accident severed both of his legs at the knee, leaving him a double amputee. Despite this life-changing event, Wide's resilience and determination saw him adapt remarkably to his new circumstances. He fashioned himself two wooden legs and continued to work for the railway, taking a job at the Utenhaga station. Wide also constructed a wooden trolley to aid his mobility. However, his disability made performing his duties as a signalman challenging. Enter Jack, a Chakma baboon, whose life would soon become intertwined with Wide's in a most extraordinary way. Wide encountered Jack at a local market and was immediately impressed by the baboon's intelligence and capabilities. Recognizing the potential for assistance, Wide purchased Jack, setting the stage for an unprecedented partnership in the operation of railway signals. Wide's ingenuity in adapting to his disability and his openness to unconventional solutions highlights the remarkable human capacity for resilience and innovation. Jack's entry into Wide's life marked the beginning of a unique collaboration that would soon capture the public's imagination and carve out a special place in the annals of railway history. Jack's arrival and training. Jack's integration into James Wide's life began with a chance encounter at a local market, where Wide was captivated by the sight of a baboon adeptly leading an ox wagon. Recognizing Jack's potential, Wide purchased him and welcomed him into his world as both a pet and an assistant. This marked the beginning of an extraordinary partnership. Adapting to his new environment, Jack quickly took to his role as Wide's personal assistant. Wide first taught Jack to help with his daily commute, pushing him to and from the train station in a small trolley. This task was crucial for Wide, given his mobility challenges. Jack's intelligence and adaptability were remarkable as he soon extended his skills beyond merely aiding Wide's movements. He began assisting with household chores, performing tasks such as sweeping floors and taking out the trash. However, it was at the signal box where Jack's capabilities truly shone. Wide, a railway signalman, was responsible for operating the levers that controlled the train tracks. Observing his owner, Jack learned to understand the patterns of the train whistles and the corresponding track changes. He began assisting in the operation of the railway signals, pulling levers under wide supervision. Jack's ability to adapt to and perform human tasks was not only a testament to his intelligence, but also highlighted the extraordinary bond he developed with Wide. Their partnership in the railway signal box was not just a novelty, but a functional and effective work relationship, showcasing the remarkable possibilities of human-animal collaboration. Jack's arrival and training the story of Jack's integration into James Wide's life is as remarkable as it is heartwarming. After purchasing Jack from a local market, Wide began the task of training him. Jack, demonstrating an impressive level of intelligence for a baboon, quickly adapted to his new role as Wide's personal assistant. Wide first taught Jack to push him to and from the Uitenhaga train station in a small trolley, a task that Jack mastered with ease. This assistance was invaluable to Wide given the challenges he faced due to his disability. But Jack's role didn't stop there. He soon began helping with household chores, showcasing his ability to adapt to various tasks. However, it was in the signal box where Jack's skills truly shone. Wide trained Jack to understand and respond to the specific whistle signals of approaching trains, which indicated which track levers needed to be switched. By carefully observing Wide, Jack learned to operate the levers himself. 
This extraordinary feat was not only a testament to Jack's intelligence, but also to Wide's innovative training methods. Jack at work, a signalman success. Jack's role at the Uitenhaga train station is a remarkable example of animal intelligence and adaptability. Under James Wide's guidance, Jack learned to operate the railway signals, a task that required understanding and responding to specific whistle signals from approaching trains. Each whistle pattern corresponded to a different track lever, and Jack, through keen observation and training, mastered the art of pulling the correct levers at the right time. Wide's trust in Jack's capabilities allowed him to relax, while Jack handled the critical task of switching rails. This arrangement worked so well that Wide could engage in other activities, such as his hobby of stuffing birds, while Jack competently managed the railway signals. This extraordinary partnership not only ensured the smooth operation of the railway system, but also demonstrated the potential for animals to learn and perform complex tasks usually reserved for humans. Jack's impeccable work as a signal man was a source of fascination and admiration. His ability to perform his duties without error over an extended period is a testament to both his intelligence and the effectiveness of Wide's training methods. Jack's success challenged contemporary views on animal intelligence and opened up new perspectives on the capabilities of non-human species. The story of Jack and Wide at the Utenhaga train station is not just a curious footnote in history. It's a powerful illustration of the depth of understanding and cooperation that can exist between humans and animals. Jack's legacy and impact, Jack the Baboon's story extends beyond his remarkable abilities and unique employment. It illustrates a profound bond between a man and an animal, showcasing how necessity can foster incredible partnerships. For nine years, Jack worked flawlessly, never making a single mistake in his crucial role as a railway signalman. His impeccable service record is a testament to his intelligence and the extraordinary training he received from James Wide. Jack's impact went beyond the confines of the Wittenhag train station. He became a symbol of ingenuity and adaptability, drawing attention and awe from locals and visitors alike. His story challenged prevailing notions of animal intelligence and capability, offering a glimpse into the potential of interspecies, communication, and collaboration. Unfortunately, Jack's life came to an end in 1890 when he succumbed to tuberculosis. His legacy, however, continues to live on. His skull, preserved at the Albany Museum in Grahamstown, serves as a tangible reminder of his unique contribution to railway history and animal intelligence. Jack's story remains a fascinating and heartwarming chapter in the annals of human-animal relationships, inspiring awe and admiration to this day. In closing, the story of Jack the Baboon is not just a tale of an animal performing human tasks. It's a narrative that bridges the gap between species, showing the depth of understanding and cooperation possible. Jack the Baboon's extraordinary life challenges us to rethink our perceptions of animal intelligence and the possibilities of human-animal partnerships. What are your thoughts on this incredible story? Share your reflections and join the conversation on this remarkable piece of history.